Hey guys, so it seems that Google AdWords is a very interesting topic for many people who are currently using Facebook ads and want to try something new. So I decided to make a um, YouTube series about Google AdWords, maybe two or three videos, I don't know yet. But um, where I will show you something about Google AdWords in combination with e-commerce and Shopify, how to use it, how to make your campaigns, how to scale them, how to monitor them and so on. So um, I also have this video about comparing AdWords to Google, uh, AdWords to Facebook. I will link it in the description so that you can take a look again. And let's take a look at my AdWords account. Like I said, um, I created a completely new account um, for my service business. And yeah, so this is basically the first action that I will take with my new account, making this video here about AdWords. As you can see here, I have this reminder of none of your ads are running because I don't have any active campaigns. I also did not put my payment information in yet. So if this warning might appear at some point in time here, you know why. Um, yeah, so to those of you who never used Google AdWords, this is the dashboard. Here it says similar to Facebook, um, the, the time period. Here you have these different levels that you're also familiar with if you used ad, uh, Facebook before, campaigns, ad groups, ads, and so on. And yeah, let's start off by creating a new campaign and we have different categories of campaigns here just as with Facebook where we have this different conversion goals and link clicks goals and so on we have the search network with display select which is basically some kind of mix of these two therefore I won't go too much into detail with this we have the search network only which is the the common way to advertise on AdWords this is when you put something into Google then you um, see these these ads on the search results above the organic ads and they can appear on Google itself or on smaller search engines such as AOL and um, so basically the Google partners who, who use this as well. So this is the typical way to advertise on Google. It's also a pretty good way if you want to target a very specific need. So if people use the Google search network they do it because they are looking for something. So if they for example look for a specific service for, elect for an electrician or for a product in case of e-commerce if they look for a new um, for new headphones or for new t-shirt they go to Google type it in buying t-shirt or something like that and you can position yourself in the search network and in the search results to offer your product then you have the display network which is a little more like Facebook ads where people are browsing websites and you can put banner ads um, on the website so that people see your your ad on the side you can use an image um, uh, not as in the search network where it's only text so in the display network it's more for brand awareness and and you know creating the customer journey with putting your, your shop or your product in in their minds while the search network is for direct sales and direct leads so usually if you do e-commerce and you want to quick sales and quick leads search network usually is the better choice for you than display network but display network can only be also be great if you build a brand for example if you want to raise brand awareness first and war kind of warm up your leads then we have the shopping ads which are also really good for e-commerce because you can also post pictures you can give prices you can give product descriptions and if people then click your ad because they find it's interesting what you have to offer they are already a step ahead in the sales funnel, right? So if you give these shopping ads where people can see, okay, this is the product, it looks like this, this is the cost. Um, and if they click at this point in time, after they know all these things, you know that they are already interested in your product and that they are more likely to buy than someone who just saw it on the, on the Google search network page. Then you have the video ads, which are on YouTube and you have the universal app campaign, um, yeah, where you can basically advertise ads, uh, apps. <laughs> in, in this case, and in this video, I want to go with the search network because it's the most common thing. In later videos, I may make videos about all of them, especially about shopping ads where you need a Google Merchant Center account, but let's just stick to the search network only for this video. And now you have this similar steps as in Facebook ads where you have, you know, clear ad campaign settings, ad groups, ads, and then review. review. And yeah, in this in this um, uh, tutorial, I want to use the store name, the store account uh, of one of my former clients, which was 
timeofman.com oh sorry time of man no need for this www um yeah and we we just have this search network only ena enabled as we mentioned before and um we put all this on standard right now so we can also do all features which um then we have more things to to choose from for the for the campaign but because i cannot explain any single point that we go through in this in this tutorial and, and i just want in this very first in this very first video i want to show you all four steps at once i don't go through everything right now so let's just keep that to standard keyword targeted text at text ads showing on google search results this is a pretty good thing to start you can use the google search network and include search partners such, such as i said like aol or if you don't want to use them you you um leave it blank for now i just um, check it so it will also show on other search engines which use google um ads will show on all eligible devices by default yes because i use the standard um thing this is this is the only available choice and in this case well, let me choose a country it's 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 at germany on default because i live in germany obviously but let me choose the united states and i target the whole country as you can see so just as on on facebook facebook ads you can use certain cities or regions which is also pretty cool but let's just stick to the whole united states and english as a language um yeah as it said it says here you can also exclude certain countries or regions so if you want the united states just not three regions inside that you can put it here so that your reach will reduce in the end and now we have to choose a bid strategy and this is pretty interesting because if you um because if you have conversion tracking um available and set up like it says here you can type in certain targets cpas roi roas so that google will basically optimize your ads for it and they will keep in mind that you just want to pay a certain amount of money to get one sale so if we use target cpa um, and have a conversion tracking enabled you can say for example that my maximum cost per acquisition is 10 bucks because if i pay more than 10 bucks i make my profit is too low or or even i make no profit at all and this is a good thing so that google knows what you are willing to pay for one sale and not just for for one click because yeah you don't really care if you have to pay 10 10 cents per click or 50 cents per click if you make if you need um, let's say 20 50 cents click to make a sale but you need a thousand tens 10 cent clicks to make a sale right so this is something that you can let google optimize for and that google knows what you want to pay at most you can maximize the clicks so that you um, get the most clicks with your budget so that you focus on cheaper clicks you can get an enhanced cpc but all these things require um, a conversion tracking so for now just let, let's just stay at the manual cpc um we will choose a default bit let's just say i put one euro pretty much but depending on your keyword it's pretty realistic that if you have competitive keywords it costs one euro or even way more than that and as a budget we choose 20 euros per day and now you can extend your ad so if you see the google adwords ads they have this text this headline and below that they have things like a phone number or a site links and location and some of these ads are like this long while others are only that long so if you have a physical location or if you just want to add a physical location you can um, check this yeah right of course this account doesn't have one now but you can add some more things like calling you. So if you offer a phone number for your for the people visiting your store, you can add one here. You can um, you can add special site links, for example, to the product page, to the to the contact page, and these things, so that people can choose directly where where on your website they want to enter, and not just the index page or the page that you link to the to the um, ad itself. You can have call outs, some additional descriptive, descriptive text and structured snippets. These are two things uh, we will cover later on as well. 
but for now just le let's just leave all of them blank and move on with the next um, layer which is the ad group so like i said here we only have english only have the us search network with search par partners and now let's move to the next step with is which is the ad groups and now as you can see here you can you can check this and say my landing page isn't ready yet so that you can build the campaign but don't use a certain website yet but in my case like i said i will use time of men which is the store of one of my former clients where they sell it looks really really cool in my opinion where he sells um you know accessories and timepieces for men like belts and watches and these things and google already gives you some ad group ideas because you because they searched the website right so they looked for time of men they basically scanned the website and checked what's on there and men watches is pretty accurate because this is something that is really um present on the website you have black watches wrist wrist watches um branded watches but they also have other other accessories and the men's watches ad group has 80 82 keywords so watches for men Man watches, and if I click this one here, it will be put in my keyword window. So now I have all these 82 keywords in my campaign, and I can um, use them. Um, yeah, so normally you would pick like one keyword now or a few keywords. Start with here, start with 10 to 20 keywords per ad group. Use match types to control with keyword variations, can trigger your ad. Learn more about choosing effective keywords. So you have different types of of uh, matches you have broad match phrase match exact match again i will use them in the next video where i go into more detail on the on the um, ad level but in this video i only want to show you the process of going from creating a campaign to finishing the final ad so let's just keep all this in place 82 keywords for one single ad group and call this yeah the name is pretty accurate but i like it more this way men's watches the bid is one euro per click. Again, sounds pretty high, but um, I could even imagine that the that the normal CPC for men's watches is something like that, maybe even higher. But if I like, I show you later on, um, you can target certain long tail keywords, which are actually cheaper, which have less um, sales volume or less search volume. Uh, but they still have a decent volume and ca cost way less for example nice cheap watches for guys i could imagine that this is a relatively low competitive keyword or long tail keyword which is relatively cheap but still gets some some nice um, search volume so you might want to choose nice cheap watches for guys men's watches for sale cheap and certain long tail keywords that have something to do with each other so that you can make one ad for all of them or put all of them in one ad group but together they they um, reach a pretty big search volume right so of course men's watches for men has a bigger sales uh, bigger search volume than um, nice cheap watches for guys but if you put 10 or 20 of these long tail keywords with low competition into one you have usually way cheaper clicks than than targeting one of these very broad and competitive keywords like watches for men so let's just continue with all these 82 keywords that are in our list now. We have the bid of one euro. The name is men's watches. And let's continue to the ad level. And this is basically the part where on Facebook you would see the ad creative where you can put in the picture and so on. And here it's pretty similar. So we put in the final URL and this is the URL that people are really directed to. So like on Facebook, you can have a you can give them a path, so basically your, your display URL, which is not the URL they are, they are directed to. So let's say the final URL is timeofman.com slash products slash, slash watches. I don't know if this is um, a real link, but it doesn't matter right here. Then we have the, the headline number one, and let's say, I don't know, I didn't prepare anything for that and I didn't research, but let's say just finest luxury watches. Um, timeless selection something like this you know just a quickly made up something and um path is products watches so that people if they see this this ad they will immediately see that this is relevant for them and not just a headline that has nothing to do with the link so if they see products watches okay this must be something that fits my need 
and in the description um, something like I, I just prepared a small sentences shop our collection of thousand lux luxury leather watches worldwide free shipping this is something that could be um, that you could use in this case of course I didn't research anything on this year I, I didn't you know check anything it was very spontaneous now to put in these but this is how your ad could finally look like uh, so you have also have the sample ads this is what it looks like on mobile and on desktop it would look like this Finest luxury watches, timeless selection, shop our collection of thousand luxury leather watches, worldwide free shipping. Yes, and this is basically how your ad will look like when people are browsing it on, on Google AdWords. Like it says here, you currently target watches for men, men watches, watches men, men watch sale plus 78, you can edit them. You also hear of tips for creating successful ads. If you are new to AdWords, then you should definitely follow all these guidelines and tips that appear during the process of creating an ad. So check all of these hints and tips. And now that we, we also created the ad, we can click cre oh, yeah, create ad again. This makes no sense, but we can click review campaign. And now you have the daily estimates and the daily estimates are that you can get 35 to 43 clicks at a total cost of 18 to 20 um, dollars and you have a budget of 20, uh, 20 euros and you have a budget of 20 euros. Here again, the campaign settings are summed up. United States, Google search and search partners, English. Um, yeah, so these are the daily estimates as you are used to from Facebook, 35 to 43 clicks, 8,800 8, impressions to 10,800. 100% of total spend. So this means that with this budget and this um, target keywords, you will spend your whole budget, which is normal. I mean, there are so many keywords to target that it's hard to not spend all of all of your money if you only have 20 euros. And yeah, this looks like a pretty good start. Of course, um, 35 to 43 clicks are not much and yeah, it's also not that cheap, but it's still okay actually for a Google campaign. Now what will what happen next is that you have to watch on quality scores, which is similar to the Facebook relevance score. And if you have a better quality score, that means you have a high click-through rate and a good landing page, for example, um, you can get more clicks for less. So simply create um, successful campaigns, create enticing campaigns that people want to click on, have a good landing page that is, that is um, basically giving people what they were looking for because people uh, because Google will give you way cheaper clicks for this. So if you have a quality score of 10, which is the best like on, on Facebook, you will have way cheaper clicks than if you have a quality score of two, for example. So now I could save and finish, but since I don't have my, um, my billing information in place anyway and so on, I just keep it like this. Um, finish and pause campaign if this works I think this doesn't work at all now oh no it, it get, just gets stored yeah campaigns campaign paused and this is how it looks like on the dashboard clicks impressions CTR average CPC cost and average position so if your ad is in position one at the very top of the search results or two or three or whatever um, yeah, like I said here, you have a lot of additional tools, reports, opportunities. There's so much to talk about when it comes to Google AdWords and it's impossible to cover this in this video. But I hope that I will make the second video in just a few days. Um, I hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any questions or any things that you want me to cover specifically when it comes to Google AdWords, just put in, in the comments or visit, visit my website www.theecomproject.com and um, yeah, then just, I will, oh, is this right? Yeah, okay. Okay, then I hope you had fun with this video and see you in the next video.